Hi guys, welcome to Tailgate Tuesday edition of Plumbing with Tim. Today I'm going to show you how a sink stopper or a pop-up drain assembly for your bathroom sink works and what you need to do to troubleshoot it. So stick around, we're going to get the show started. If this is your first time here and you're looking to sharpen all your plumbing skills or just learn something, take a moment, drop down below and subscribe to my channel. That way you're not going to miss any of my awesome videos. So this is a pretty basic call that I get on a regular basis uh, about your drain system that's in your bathroom sink and everything. So we're going to do an unboxing of this and a review and show you some of the components that are involved with these things that could maybe save you on a service call and you might be able to take care of it yourself. So let's get to it. Now these come in a lot of different varieties and stuff. Um, I strongly suggest if you're going to end up replacing one of these uh, pop-up assemblies or drain stops, you go with the ones that are, are metal, not plastic ones. Plastics not a good thing so let's open it up and let's take a look here we got our main assembly which is right here okay this is what you're going to end up seeing up underneath your sink if you decide to go so much all right and it comes apart and we'll show you how that works as well and your other components your linkage components that are involved for this thing to work properly okay so before we get started we always want to make sure that we have the proper tools and things needed to do this job successfully and uh, you know without a bunch of hang-ups and stuff so we're gonna start off with our basic hand tools a pair of channel locks an adjustable wrench okay really good thing to have get yourself some rector seal 5 this is pipe thread sealant as on other videos you see me use this stuff on anything that's threaded uh, you're gonna have to have some plumber's putty. All this stuff that I'm talking about can be picked up at big box stores as well as your plumbing supply. Uh, let's not forget, anytime you do plumbing, have yourself some sort of a towel or a rag around because there's water involved, a catch bucket as well. Okay, so, and don't forget about your Teflon tape. And I'm gonna show you what every single thing that I just showed you does and why you're gonna need these things to do the job correct. First things first, we're gonna take this thing apart and I'm gonna show you the different parts and pieces that are involved. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it all together and I'm gonna show you how it works. I'm gonna take this top piece, okay. We're gonna unthread it. There it is, we're gonna set that aside. We have another piece down here, this is a tail piece. Very, very tiny, tiny threads, okay? That's why we need Teflon tape. Now this is the housing of this assembly, all right? This is gonna be underneath your sink. So these are the parts that you're gonna need to know about. So now that I've showed you how to take this kind of thing apart and everything, uh, this is also going to hold your little pin that goes in there. We're gonna put this thing back together and I'm gonna show you how it all works together. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have everything put together and stuff, uh, this is actually how everything underneath the sink looks and how this entire assembly is set up, as you can see. And you can see all that. There's your pop-up assembly. This is the part that's up top, as well as your puller. So those are the only two pieces you see up top. The rest of it, on the way down, is underneath your sink. Look how that works. I want to stop the water up. I pull this thing. You see? I've got the pop-up up. up. When I pull this up, it closes. See that? I'm pulling the pin up and down, up and down. It's a linkage. See that? Stop. Open. Stop. Open. And down to your P-trap and such. Now I'm going to tell you exactly what the troubleshooting of why you might have the drains being slow and usually the first thing on this mechanism that goes bad. So it's slow, the drain is, and uh, it's usually caused, like in other videos that I show and put out, caused by hair and just schmackets, you know, shaving scum and all that good stuff. So if you're looking to try to get better drain out of this, and you know there's not a problem down the drain and it's something that's right in here, this little pin right here that goes up and down, like I showed you, see the pop-up goes up and down. Get yourself a bucket and loosen up Put it underneath your P-trap. Take a loosen your P-trap up. Now this part's gonna stay in the wall, it's not moving. So I'm just disconnecting this. 
this is full of water remember about p traps they hold water to keep sewer gas out so now we're going to take and we're going to remove the top part of this p trap over top of a bucket because there's going to be water inside of here remember okay let's take and pull that p trap out of there so now you're left with this now what you can do is take and open up this little ring that holds the pin remember that it connects to the pop-up up top and pull this guy out of here just like that see that right at that point you lift up and pull your stopper out now you have a straight path going all the way through down into the p-track 99 percent of the time this area up in here is clogged with hair so what you could do is you could take a long screwdriver flathead screwdriver and just kind of jam it down through the top of there into the bucket and get rid of all that schmeckus and stuff that's going on so what i was talking about the part that fails the most is right here it's your pin this pin that goes in and hooks to that stopper okay this part of the metal right here is going to end up rotting out after time they all do and that's why a lot of times you get to someone's house and they say my stopper won't go up and down or it just fell out or I can't use one that's because this thing can no longer push that stopper up and down because the pin is gone now they make these all kinds of different sizes and shapes you might get lucky and have one on your van the chances are pretty good you may end up having to just replace this entire assembly let's not forget if you're not comfortable with any of this stuff stop what you're doing and call yourself a licensed plumber before you mess something up okay that's why i put these videos out is to help show you how different things work and how you can go about taking care of some of these little pesky problems you have around the house um a lot of people don't care if they have a sink stop or not but a good share of people do because they want to have water to be able to fill up in your basin to maybe brush your teeth or for shaving or whatnot so it's one of those little special things in your home that's a convenience uh, and when you're without it that's when you really notice it the most so I hope this video has helped you out in one way or another. Listen, I got them all day long. Uh, don't forget to drop down and hit the subscribe button and leave me a comment, maybe some suggestions. Like I said, this isn't a hands-on installation because if I was doing that, I'd be up underneath the sink doing that. Uh, I can give you a better visual of out of the box to troubleshooting and ways where you might be able to go about taking care of things like this. So for Tailgate Tuesday, it's been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.